Kurt Friedrich Gödel, German, KTO stroke DL, Listen, April 28, 1906 to January 14, 1978, was an Austrian and later American logician, mathematician, and philosopher. Considered along with Aristotle, Alfred Tarski and Gottlob Frege to be one of the most significant logicians in history, Gödel made an immense impact upon scientific and philosophical thinking in the 20th century, a time when others such as Bertrand Russell, Alfred North Whitehead, and David Hilbert were analyzing the use of logic and set theory to understand the foundations of mathematics pioneered by Georg Cantor. Gödel published his Two Incompleteness Theorems in 1931 when he was 25 years old, one year after finishing his doctorate at the University of Vienna. The first incompleteness theorem states that for any self-consistent recursive axiomatic system powerful enough to describe the arithmetic of the natural numbers for example Pino arithmetic, there are true propositions about the naturals that cannot be proved from the axioms. To prove this theorem, Gödel developed a technique now known as Gödel numbering, which codes formal expressions as natural numbers. He also showed that neither the axiom of choice nor the continuum hypothesis can be disproved from the accepted axioms of set theory, assuming these axioms are consistent. The former result opened the door for mathematicians to assume the axiom of choice in their proofs. He also made important contributions to proof theory by clarifying the connections between classical logic, intuitionistic logic, and modal logic. <laughs> Early life and education <laughs> Childhood Gödel was born April 28, 1906, in Brunn, Austria-Hungary now Brno, Czech Republic into the ethnic German family of Rudolf Gödel 1874-1929, the manager of a textile factory, and Marianne Gödel née Honshu, 1879-1966. Throughout his life, Gödel would remain close to his mother, their correspondence was frequent and wide-ranging. At the time of his birth the city had a German-speaking majority which included his parents. His father was Catholic and his mother was Protestant and the children were raised Protestant. The ancestors of Kurt Gödel were often active in Brunn's cultural life. For example, his grandfather Joseph Gödel was a famous singer of that time and for some years a member of the Brunner Manor Gesingverein. Gödel automatically became a Czechoslovak citizen at age 12 when the Austro-Hungarian Empire broke up at the end of World War I according to his classmate Klepitar, like many residents of the predominantly German Sudetenlander. Gödel considered himself always Austrian and an exile in Czechoslovakia. He chose to become an Austrian citizen at age 23. When Germany annexed Austria in 1938, Gödel automatically became a German citizen at age 32. After World War II, at the age of 42, he became an American citizen. In his family, young Kurt was known as Herr Warham, Mr. Why, because of his insatiable curiosity. According to his brother Rudolf, at the age of six or seven Kurt suffered from rheumatic fever, he completely recovered, but for the rest of his life he remained convinced that his heart had suffered permanent damage. Beginning at age four, Gödel suffered from frequent episodes of poor health, which would continue for his entire life. Gödel attended the Evangelische Volksschule, a Lutheran school in Brunn from 1912 to 1916, and was enrolled in the Deutsches Staatsrealgymnasium from 1916 to 1924, excelling with honors in all his subjects, particularly in mathematics, languages and religion. Although Kurt had first excelled in languages, he later became more interested in history and mathematics. His interest in mathematics increased when in 1920 his older brother Rudolf born 1902 left for Vienna to go to medical school at the University of Vienna. During his teens, Kurt studied Gabelsberger shorthand, Goethe's theory of colors and criticisms of Isaac Newton, and the writings of Immanuel Kant. Topic. Studying in Vienna At the age of 18, Gödel joined his brother in Vienna and entered the University of Vienna. By that time, he had already mastered university-level mathematics. Although initially intending to study theoretical physics, he also attended courses on mathematics and philosophy. During this time, he adopted ideas of mathematical realism. He read Kant's Metaphysische Anfangsgründe der Naturwissenschaft, and participated in the Vienna Circle with Moritz Schlick, Hans Hahn, and Rudolf Carnap. 
Gödel then studied number theory, but when he took part in a seminar run by Moritz Schlick which studied Bertrand Russell's book Introduction to Mathematical Philosophy, he became interested in mathematical logic. According to Gödel, mathematical logic was a science prior to all others, which contains the ideas and principles underlying all sciences." Attending a lecture by David Hilbert in Bologna on completeness and consistency of mathematical systems may have set Gödel's life course. In 1928, Hilbert and Wilhelm Ackermann published Grundzüge der Theoretischen Logik Principles of Mathematical Logic, an introduction to first-order logic in which the problem of completeness was posed, are the axioms of a formal system sufficient to derive every statement that is true in all models of the system? This became the topic that Gödel chose for his doctoral work. In 1929, at the age of 23, he completed his doctoral dissertation under Hans Hahn's supervision. In it, he established the completeness of the first-order predicate calculus Gödel's completeness theorem. He was awarded his doctorate in 1930. His thesis, along with some additional work, was published by the Vienna Academy of Science. Career Incompleteness theorem Kurt Gödel's achievement in modern logic is singular and monumental, indeed it is more than a monument, it is a landmark which will remain visible far in space and time. The subject of logic has certainly completely changed its nature and possibilities with Gödel's achievement. In 1931 and while still in Vienna, Gödel published his incompleteness theorems in über formal unentscheidbare Satz der Principia Mathematica und Verwinter Systeme called in English on formally undecidable propositions of Principia Mathematica and related systems. In that article, he proved for any computable axiomatic system that is powerful enough to describe the arithmetic of the natural numbers e.g., the Peano axioms or zermelo frankel set theory with the axiom of choice, that if a logical or axiomatic formal system is consistent, it cannot be complete. The consistency of axioms cannot be proved within their own system. These theorems ended a half century of attempts, beginning with the work of Frege and culminating in Principia Mathematica and Hilbert's formalism, to find a set of axioms sufficient for all mathematics. In hindsight, the basic idea at the heart of the incompleteness theorem is rather simple. Gödel essentially constructed a formula that claims that it is unprovable in a given formal system. If it were provable, it would be false. Thus there will always be at least one true but unprovable statement. That is, for any computably enumerable set of axioms for arithmetic that is, a set that can in principle be printed out by an idealized computer with unlimited resources, there is a formula that is true of arithmetic, but which is not provable in that system. To make this precise, however, Gödel needed to produce a method to encode as natural numbers statements, proofs, and the concept of provability. He did this using a process known as Gödel numbering. In his two-page paper Zoom Intuitionistischen Ossigenkalkel Gödel refuted the finite valuedness of intuitionistic logic. In the proof, he implicitly used what has later become known as gödel dummett intermediate logic or gödel fuzzy logic. Mid-1930s, further work and U.S. visits Gödel earned his habilitation at Vienna in 1932, and in 1933 he became a private dozen unpaid lecturer there. In 1933 Adolf Hitler came to power in Germany, and over the following years the Nazis rose in influence in Austria, and among Vienna's mathematicians. In June 1936, Moritz Schlick, whose seminar had aroused Gödel's interest in logic, was assassinated by one of his former students, Johann Nelbach. This triggered a severe nervous crisis in Gödel. He developed paranoid symptoms, including a fear of being poisoned, and spent several months in a sanitarium for nervous diseases. In 1933, Gödel first traveled to the U.S., where he met Albert Einstein, who became a good friend. He delivered an address to the annual meeting of the American Mathematical Society. During this year, Gödel also developed the ideas of computability and recursive functions to the point where he was able to present a lecture on general recursive functions and the concept of truth. This work was developed in number theory, using Gödel numbering. 
In 1934 Gödel gave a series of lectures at the Institute for Advanced Study IAS in Princeton, New Jersey, entitled On Undecidable Propositions of Formal Mathematical Systems. Stephen Kleene, who had just completed his Ph.D. at Princeton, took notes of these lectures that have been subsequently published. Gödel visited the IAS again in the autumn of 1935. The traveling and the hard work had exhausted him, and the next year he took a break to recover from a depressive episode. He returned to teaching in 1937. During this time, he worked on the proof of consistency of the axiom of choice and of the continuum hypothesis. He went on to show that these hypotheses cannot be disproved from the common system of axioms of set theory. He married Adele Nimbersky, née Porkert, 1899-1981, whom he had known for over ten years, on September 20, 1938. Their relationship had been opposed by his parents on the grounds that she was a divorced dancer, six years older than he was. Subsequently, he left for another visit to the United States, spending the autumn of 1938 at the IAS and publishing Consistency of the Axiom of Choice and of the Generalized Continuum Hypothesis with the Axioms of Set Theory, a classic of modern mathematics. In that work he introduced the constructible universe, a model of set theory in which the only sets that exist are those that can be constructed from simpler sets. Gödel showed that both the axiom of choice AC and the generalized continuum hypothesis GCH are true in the constructible universe, and therefore must be consistent with the zermelo frankel axioms for set theory ZF. This result has had considerable consequences for working mathematicians, as it means they can assume the axiom of choice when proving the hahn banach theorem. Paul Cohen later constructed a model of ZF in which AC and GCH are false, together these proofs mean that AC and GCH are independent of the ZF axioms for set theory. Gödel spent the spring of 1939 at the University of Notre Dame. Princeton, Einstein, U.S. citizenship After the Anschluss on 12 March 1938, Austria had become a part of Nazi Germany. Germany abolished the title private doesn't, so Gödel had to apply for a different position under the new order. His former association with Jewish members of the Vienna Circle, especially with Hahn, weighed against him. The University of Vienna turned his application down. His predicament intensified when the German army found him fit for conscription. World War II started in September 1939. Before the year was up, Gödel and his wife left Vienna for Princeton. To avoid the difficulty of an Atlantic crossing, the Gödels took the Trans-Siberian Railway to the Pacific, sailed from Japan to San Francisco, which they reached on March 4, 1940, then crossed the U.S. by train to Princeton. There Gödel accepted a position at the Institute for Advanced Study IAS, which he had previously visited during 1933-34. Albert Einstein was also living at Princeton during this time. Gödel and Einstein developed a strong friendship, and were known to take long walks together to and from the Institute for Advanced Study. The nature of their conversations was a mystery to the other Institute members. Economist Oscar Morgenstern recounts that toward the end of his life Einstein confided that his own work no longer meant much, that he came to the Institute merely to have the privilege of walking home with Gödel. Gödel and his wife, Adele, spent the summer of 1942 in Blue Hill, Maine, at the Blue Hill Inn at the top of the bay. Gödel was not merely vacationing but had a very productive summer of work. Using Heft 15, Volume 15 of Gödel's still unpublished Arbeitsheft working notebooks, John W. Dawson Jr. conjectures that Gödel discovered a proof for the independence of the axiom of choice from finite type theory, a weakened form of set theory, while in Blue Hill in 1942. Gödel's close friend Hao Wang supports this conjecture, noting that Gödel's Blue Hill notebooks contain his most extensive treatment of the problem. On December 5, 1947, Einstein and Morgenstern accompanied Gödel to his U.S. citizenship exam, where they acted as witnesses. Gödel had confided in them that he had discovered an inconsistency in the U.S. Constitution that could allow the U.S. to become a dictatorship. Einstein and Morgenstern were concerned that their friend's unpredictable behavior might jeopardize his application. The judge turned out to be Philip Foreman, who knew Einstein and had administered the oath at Einstein's own citizenship hearing. Everything went smoothly until Foreman happened to ask Gödel if he thought a dictatorship like the Nazi regime could happen in the U.S. Gödel then started to explain his discovery to Foreman. 
Foreman understood what was going on, cut Gödel off, and moved the hearing on to other questions and a routine conclusion. Gödel became a permanent member of the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton in 1946. Around this time he stopped publishing, though he continued to work. He became a full professor at the institute in 1953 and an emeritus professor in 1976. During his many years at the institute, Gödel's interests turned to philosophy and physics. In 1949, he demonstrated the existence of solutions involving closed timelike curves, to Einstein's field equations in general relativity. He is said to have given this elaboration to Einstein as a present for his 70th birthday. His rotating universes would allow time travel to the past and caused Einstein to have doubts about his own theory. His solutions are known as the Gödel metric, an exact solution of the Einstein field equation. He studied and admired the works of Gottfried Leibniz, but came to believe that a hostile conspiracy had caused some of Leibniz's works to be suppressed. To a lesser extent he studied Immanuel Kant and Edmund Husserl. In the early 1970s, Gödel circulated among his friends an elaboration of Leibniz's version of Anselm of Canterbury's ontological proof of God's existence. This is now known as Gödel's ontological proof. Awards and honors Gödel was awarded with Julian Schwinger the first Albert Einstein Award in 1951, and was also awarded the National Medal of Science, in 1974. Gödel was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1968. He was a plenary speaker of the ICM in 1950 in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The Gödel Prize, an annual prize for outstanding papers in the area of theoretical computer science, is named after him. Topic. Later life and death Later in his life, Gödel suffered periods of mental instability and illness. He had an obsessive fear of being poisoned, he would eat only food that his wife, Adele, prepared for him. Late in 1977, she was hospitalized for six months and could no longer prepare her husband's food. In her absence, he refused to eat, eventually starving to death. He weighed 29 kilograms 65 pounds when he died. His death certificate reported that he died of malnutrition and inanition caused by personality disturbance in Princeton Hospital on January 14, 1978. He was buried in Princeton Cemetery. Adele's death followed in 1981. Topic. Personal life Topic. Religious views Gödel was a convinced theist, in the Christian tradition. He held the notion that God was personal. He believed firmly in an afterlife, stating, of course this supposes that there are many relationships which today's science and received wisdom haven't any inkling of. But I am convinced of this the afterlife, independently of any theology. It is possible today to perceive, by pure reasoning, that it is entirely consistent with known facts. If the world is rationally constructed and has meaning, then there must be such a thing as an afterlife. In an unmailed answer to a questionnaire, Gödel described his religion as "...baptized Lutheran but not member of any religious congregation. My belief is theistic, not pantheistic, following Leibniz rather than Spinoza." Describing religions in general, Gödel said, "...religions are, for the most part, bad. But religion is not." According to his wife Adele. Gödel, although he did not go to church, was religious and read the Bible in bed every Sunday morning. While of Islam, he said, I like Islam, it is a consistent or consequential idea of religion and open-minded. <laughs> Legacy The Kurt Gödel Society, founded in 1987, was named in his honor. It is an international organization for the promotion of research in the areas of logic, philosophy, and the history of mathematics. The University of Vienna hosts the Kurt Gödel Research Center for Mathematical Logic. The Association for Symbolic Logic has invited an annual Kurt Gödel lecturer each year since 1990. Five volumes of Gödel's collected works have been published. 
The first two include Gödel's publications, the third includes unpublished manuscripts from Gödel's Nachlass, and the final two include correspondence. A biography of Gödel was published by John Dawson in 2005, Logical Dilemmas, The Life and Work of Kurt Gödel A. K. Peters, Wellesley, M. A., ISBN 1-56881-256-6. Gödel was also one of four mathematicians examined in the 2008 BBC documentary entitled Dangerous Knowledge by David Malone. Douglas Hofstadter wrote a popular book in 1979 called Gödel, Escher, Bach to celebrate the work and ideas of Gödel, along with those of artist M. C. Escher and composer Johann Sebastian Bach. The book partly explores the ramifications of the fact that Gödel's incompleteness theorem can be applied to any Turing-complete computational system, which may include the human brain. Bibliography Important publications In German 1930 Die Vollständigkeit der Axiome des Logischen Funktionen Kalkuls. Mannschaft für Mathematik und Physik 37 to 349 60. 1931. Über formal unentscheidbare Satz der Principia Mathematica und Verwandter Systeme I. Mannschaft für Mathematik und Physik 38 to 173 98. 1932. Zum Intuitionistischen Ossigen Kalkul. Anzeiger Akademie der Wissenschaften Wien 69 65 66, in English. 1940. The consistency of the axiom of choice and of the generalized continuum hypothesis with the axioms of set theory. Princeton University Press. 1947. What is Cantor's continuum problem? The American Mathematical Monthly 54-515-25. Revised version in Paul Benesarif and Hilary Putnam, eds. 1984-1964. Philosophy of Mathematics, Selected Readings. Cambridge Univ. Press, 472 85 1950. Rotating Universes in General Relativity Theory. Proceedings of the International Congress of Mathematicians in Cambridge, 1-175-81 in English translation Kurt Gödel, 1992. On formally undecidable propositions of Principia Mathematica and related systems, T.R. B. Meltzer, with a comprehensive introduction by Richard Braithwaite. Dover reprint of the 1962 Basic Books edition. Kurt Gödel, 2000. On formally undecidable propositions of Principia Mathematica and related systems, T.R. Martin Herzl Jean van Hagenort, 1967. A Source Book in Mathematical Logic, 1879–1931. Harvard Univ. Press. 1930. The Completeness of the Axioms of the Functional Calculus of Logic. 582–91. 1930. Some metamathematical results on completeness and consistency. 595 to 96. Abstract to 1931. 1931. On formally undecidable propositions of Principia Mathematica and related systems. 596 to 616. 1931a. On completeness and consistency. 616 to 17. My philosophical viewpoint. C. 1960. Unpublished. The Modern Development of the Foundations of Mathematics in the Light of Philosophy, 1961, unpublished. Collected Works, Oxford University Press, New York. Editor-in-Chief, Solomon Pfefferman. Volume 1, Publications 1929-1936 ISBN 978-0-19-503964-1, Paperback, ISBN 978-0-19-514720-9, Volume 2, Publications 1938-1974 ISBN 978-0-19-503972-6, Paperback, ISBN 978 0 19 
0-8015-141721-6, Volume 3, Unpublished Essays and Lectures ISBN 978-0-19-507255-6, Paperback, ISBN 978-0-19-514722-3, Volume 4, Correspondence, AG ISBN 978-0-19-850073-5, Volume 5, Correspondence, HZ ISBN 978-0-19-850075-9. Topic see also Gödel machine Gödel prize Gödel's speed up theorem list of Austrian scientists list of pioneers in computer science mathematical Platonism original proof of Gödel's completeness theorem when Einstein walked with Gödel excursions to the edge of thought a 2018 book by Jim Holt topic notes topic references Dawson John W 1997 logical dilemmas the life and work of Kurt Gödel Wellesley M A A K Peters Goldstein, Rebecca 2005, Incompleteness, The Proof and Paradox of Kurt Gödel PBK, New York, W. W. Norton & Co., ISBN 0-393-32760-4 Topic further reading Casti, John L., De Pauli, Werner 2000, Godel, A Life of Logic, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Basic Books Perseus Books Group, ISBN 0-7382-0518-4 Dawson Jr., John W. 1996, Logical Dilemmas, The Life and Work of Kurt Gödel, A. K. Peters. Dawson Jr., John W. 1999, Gödel and the Limits of Logic, Scientific American, 280 76-81. Francian, Torkel 2005, Gödel's Theorem, An Incomplete Guide to Its Use and Abuse, Wellesley, M. A., A. K. Peters. Ivor Grattan Guinness, 2000. The Search for Mathematical Roots 1870-1940. Princeton Univ. Press. Yako Hintika, 2000. On Gödel. Wadsworth. Douglas Hofstadter, 1980. Gödel, Escher, Bach. Vintage. Stephen Kleene, 1967. Mathematical Logic. Dover Paperback Reprint CA. 2001. Stephen Kleene, 1980. Introduction to Metamathematics. North Holland ISBN 0-7204-2103-9 Ishii Press Paperback. 2009. ISBN 978-0-923891-57-2 J.R. Lucas, 1970. The Freedom of the Will. Clarendon Press, Oxford. Ernest Nagel and Newman, James R., 1958. Godel's Proof. New York Univ. Press. Prahaska, Yiri, 2006, 2006, 2008, 2008, 2010. Kurt Gödel, 1906 to 1978, Genealogy. Item, Brno. Volume 1, Brno, 2006. ISBN 80-902297-9-4. In G E R E N G L. Volume 2, Brno, 2006. ISBN 80-903476-0-6. In Germ, E. N. G. L. Volume 3. Brno 2008, ISBN 80-903476-4-9. In Germ, E. N. G. L. Volume 4. Brno, Princeton 2008, ISBN 978-80-903476-5-6. In Germ, E. N. G. L. Volume 5. Brno, Princeton 2010, ISBN 80-903476-9-X. In Germ, E. N. G. L. Prohaska, Yuri, 2012. Kurt Gödel, 1906 to 1978. History. Item. Brno, Wien, Princeton. Volume 1. ISBN 9788090347625. In G. E. R. E. N. G. L. Ed Regis, 1987. Who Got Einstein's Office? Addison Wesley Publishing Company, Inc. Raymond Smullyan, 1992. Gödel's Incompleteness Theorems. Oxford University Press. Olga Towski Todd, 1983. Remembrances of Kurt Gödel. Engineering and Science, Winter 1988. Gödel, Alois, 2006. Brunn 1679-1684, Item, Brno 2006, edited by Yuri Prohaska, ISBN 8090-6 August 2297 Prohaska, Yuri 2017. Kurt Gödel, 1906-1978, Curriculum Vitae, Item, Brno, Wien, Princeton 2017. 
Volume 1 ISBN 978-80-903476-9-4. In GER, E and G L. Hao Wang, 1987. Reflections on Kurt Gödel. MIT Press. Hao Wang, 1996. A Logical Journey, From Gödel to Philosophy. MIT Press. Jorgrau, Pal, 1999. Gödel Meets Einstein, Time Travel in the Gödel Universe. Chicago, Open Court. Jorgrau, Pal, 2004. A World Without Time, The Forgotten Legacy of Gödel and Einstein. Basic Books. Book review by John Stachel in the Notices of the American Mathematical Society 54 7, pp. 861-868, topic External links Weistein, Eric Wolfgang, ed. Gödel, Kurt, 1906-1978. Science World. Kennedy, Juliet. Kurt Gödel. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Time Bandits, an article about the relationship between Gödel and Einstein by Jim Holt Gödel and the Limits of Logic by John W. Dawson, Jr. June 2006 Notices of the AMS, April 2006 Vol. 53, No. 4 Kurt Gödel Centenary Issue Paul Davies and Freeman Dyson discuss Kurt Gödel Gödel and the Nature of Mathematical Truth Edge, a talk with Rebecca Goldstein on Kurt Gödel. It's not all in the numbers, Gregory Chaitin explains Gödel's mathematical complexities. Gödel Photo Gallery. Kurt Gödel at Find a Grave Kurt Gödel National Academy of Sciences Biographical Memoir O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F., Kurt Gödel, MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Gera Pujol, Enrique Gödel's Loophole. Capital University Law Review. University of Central Florida, Pontifical Catholic University of Puerto Rico, 41-637-673. SSRN 2010183.